welcome to this video. I am Dr. S. Karthik, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. The topic is Valence Bond Theory. In Valence Bond Theory, Green is following and others applied the principles of quantum mechanics to molecules. They reasoned that bonds between the atoms would occur when the orbitals on those atoms interacted to make a bond. The kind of interaction depends on the whether the orbital align along the axis between the nuclei or outside of the axis. Orbital interaction As two atoms approach the half-filled valence atomic orbitals, on each atom would interact to form molecular orbitals. Molecular orbitals are region of high pro probability of finding the shared electrons in the molecule. The molecular orbital would be more stable than the separate atomic orbitals because they would contain paired electrons shared by both atoms. The orbital diagram for the formation of hazardous gas. Normally hydrogen get a 1 electron, sulfur has 3s2, 3p4 electronic configurations, the hydrogen has 1s orbital and then sulfur has 3s orbitals and 3p orbitals. Here the hydrogen is overlapped with the p orbital to form the H2s orbitals. Valence bond theory hybridization. One of the issues that arise is that the number of partially filled or empty orbitals did not predict the number of bonds or orientation of bonds. Example, carbon is the electronic configuration is 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz0 would predict 2 or 3 bonds that are 90 degree apart rather than 4 bonds that are 109.5 degree apart. To adjust for this inconsistencies, it was postulated that the valence atomic orbital would hybridize before bonding that took place. On hybridization of carbon is to mix all the 2s and 2p orbital to get 4 orbitals that point at the concern of a tetrahedron. The main concept of valence bond theory. The valence electron of the atom in a molecule reside in quantum mechanical atomic orbitals. The orbitals can be the standard S, P, D and F orbitals or they may be a combination of this. The chemical bond results when these atomic orbitals interact and there is a total of two electrons in the new molecular orbital. The electron must be spin spared. The shape of the molecule is determined by the geometry of the interacting orbitals. Hybridization some atoms hybridize the orbital to maximize the bonding. More bonds is equal to the more full orbitals is equal to the more stability. Hybridization is mixing different types of orbitals in the valence cell to make a new sets of degenerate orbitals. It is sp, sp2, sp3, sp3d, sp3d2. Same type of atom can have different types of hybridization. For example, carbon. Carbon have sp, sp2 and sp3 hybridization. Hybrid orbital. The number of standard atomic orbital combined is equal to the number of hybrid orbitals formed. Combination a 2s with 2p gives to 2, 2 sp hybrid orbitals. Hydrogen cannot hybridize. It balance cell only has one orbital. The number and the type of standard atomic orbitals combined determine the shape of the hybrid orbitals. The particular kind of hybridization that occurs is the one that yield that and lowest overall energy for the molecule. These are the formation of sp3 hybrid orbitals. Here the s orbital is combined with the 3p orbitals to form the sp3 hybridization. sp3 hybridization atom which with uh, four electron groups around it, tetrahedral geometry, 109.5 degree angles between the hybrid orbitals. Atoms used hybrid orbitals for all bonds and the lone pairs. Orbital diagram of the sp3 hybridization of carbon. Carbon has the sp3 hybridization. The first cell is the s and then three uh, s orbital and then uh, either three cells are called the p orbitals. Bonding with the valence bond theory. 
according to valence bond theory bonding take place between the atoms when their atomic or hybrid orbitals interact it's called the overlap to interact the orbitals must either be aligned along the axis between the atoms or be parallel to each other and perpendicular to in interatomic axis types of bonds here two types of bonds is present so one is the sigma bond and another one is a bi bond orbital diagram of the bonding overlaps between a hybrid orbital of one atom with a hybrid or non hybrid orbital on another atom results in a sigma bond overlap between the unhybrid p orbitals on bonded atoms results in a bi bond thank you